and the brethren who are present here, the brethren from Marietta and Houston, with the peace of the Lord Jesus, I'd like to invite those who can. Let's open the word of the Lord in the book of Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles 20. We're going to read only two verses, verse 16 and 17. Let's read the word of the Lord. That says the following. Tomorrow go down against them. They will surely come up by the ascent of Ziz, and you will find them at the end of the brook before the witness of Jeruel. We will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go against them, for the Lord is with you. For the Lord is with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let us close our eyes. Lord God, may your word come once again to complete the blessing and the operation that you have for each life and each heart. Speak with us. Teach us, Lord, through your word. We plead to, for your mercy. We pray already thankful for the praises for the first part of the service. In the name of Jesus, amen. The brethren may sit down. My brethren, the word of the Lord speaks of a tif difficult moment in the life of Israel as a people. We see here the story of a king, Josaphat, and this king, he had made a, a covenant with the Lord, an alliance, and it, which was to propose the path of, of the Lord. And now Josaphat, he receives news, terrible news, saying that a, a few people they were coming towards him, towards to him to destroy the people of the Lord. And the first point, the point that we see here is the bad news. The word says that the first verse, verses of chapter 20, that a few went to give the news to Joseph. Bad news, they come in as a bunch. Good news, nobody wants to carry them. But bad news, there are people that are specialized on doing that. And it is interesting that at that moment, at that moment, Joseph, he had only two options. He would either plan something and come up with some strategy with his people and his army to in some, some way try to contain or defeat the enemy army, the enemy armies. And the second option was to ask for help to his God. And the word says that Joseph, he conclaimed his people, and the people, they, they follow an instruction from Joseph. They meet on the temple. My brethren, here goes a teaching for us servants of the Lord. Sometimes we receive bad news, and I'm sure that all of us have received once in a while, a few more than others, bad news, news that come to shake us. But the secret is to be in the presence in the house of the Father. The people could have done many other things. Joseph could have taken another, made another decision, but Joseph chose to be in the presence of the Father, in the house of the Father. And now we can ask. But we are, we are gathered here remotely, each person in their own home. My brethren, the moment in which we are willing to take set aside a little bit of our time and gather so even remotely, we could glorify the Lord and pray to the Lord. Even you, in your difficulty, 
Even you, as you face your bad news, you are here glorifying the Lord. This Zoom, this technology that the Lord gave us the means to have ac access to, it becomes the house of the Father. Your help is here in the house of the Father. And Joseph, he then instructed the people and they asked help from the Lord. And now we're going to the text. In fact, verse 15, I would even like to read to the brethren. It says the following. And he said, Listen, all you of Judah and you inhabitants of Jerusalem and you King Je Jehoshaphat. Now is the Lord speaking, my brethren. The Lord speaking with the people and the Lord speaking with us tonight. Thus says the Lord to you, Do not be afraid, nor dis dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. My brethren, when we ask help from the Lord, the battle is not ours, because our strategy, it always fails. We may win a battle here with our human strategy, we stumble there, but we never win the war. But when we ask for help, this God, who is the God who answered Joseph, and the same God who is here tonight, He fights for us. Our war is not really ours. It becomes God's. The strategy is no longer ours. It becomes God's. And then He speaks about two important points in the text that we just read. He says the following in verse 16. Tomorrow, go down against them. And it is interesting that when we are in our battle, sometimes our answer, we want our answer yesterday to our prayers. And Joseph here, everything that Joseph wanted was an answer to this situation because the desire of Jehoshaphat, what he had in his heart, was to preserve the inheritance that the Lord had given to that people so that the inheritance that God had given would not go lo be lost. But the Lord said the following, Tomorrow, my brethren, we are seeing here the brethren with your cameras. Me, I don't have idea of what you're going through here. We know each one of you. Each person has their own bad news. Each one has their own battle and struggle. But Jesus and God, He says, tomorrow, tomorrow, because many times we cannot see beyond this trial, beyond this battle that we are fighting. But God says the following, tomorrow, why is that? Because our life is not going to finish, it's, going to be, it's not going to be over today. The situation that we may be going through is not going to end, is not going to, to put an end to us. But tomorrow, because there is a tomorrow, the victory of God is assured. Sometimes we want our trial to be resolved as quickly as possible. But God's strategy is tomorrow. So, my brother and sister, nothing is over. Maybe you may be thinking that it's over, there is no solution. But for God, there is a tomorrow. And why are we saying that? Because the Lord has shown in a vision a lady, a sister, and she was inside of her home taking care of her children. But in her heart, there was a great sadness. And she was pleading to the Lord for help, asking the Lord for an answer. And the Lord is telling to the sister tonight, Look, I will never let you down. We will never be missing anything. She's taking care of her children, my brethren. Sometimes the brother and sister, you are in your home, going through a, a terrible need, difficulty, anguish, 
but you are taking care of your inheritance. Your, the son speaks about the inheritance. Joseph, Jehoshaphat, he was taking care of the inheritance. And the answer that God gave to Joseph, Jehoshaphat was the same that he has for us tonight. Do not be afraid or do not get scared. Oh Lord, but the trial is too great. The trial may be great, but God is greater. Oh, but I don't know how it's going to end. My brother and sister, for you there is a tomorrow. The trial may be great, but there is a tomorrow. And the answer of the Lord says the following. You, you will meet with them in the valley. And it is interesting that the Lord already knew what was going to happen uh, on tomorrow. The Lord knows what you're going to go through tomorrow. The Lord knows how your day is going to be tomorrow. So it's today is not over. Your life is not over. But it is interesting. What is interesting is that the enemy, he was going to be in the valley on the following day. But the people of the Lord was not in the valley. We may go through the valley, but the church of the Lord, their place is not in the valley. Their place is in the mount, on the mount. And the Lord said, you are going to meet with them in the valley. And he says, in this battle, in this trial, you will not have to fight. Just stop and remain still. The position of the church at this moment, even with the, all the trials that we have been going through individually, your family, your home, our position is not with a uh, bowed head, what? low head and feeling defeated, not at all. Even if the people, without knowing what was going to happen the following day, but their position was supposed to be to remain standing. Why to the position of remaining standing? Because it speaks of the position of remaining ready. Because church remains standing because the church is in a position that is ready to move. Why? Because prophetically, when Jesus returns, when I'm going to be sitting, when I'm going to be with bowed head, when I'm going to be laying down, we're going to remain standing. We're going to be standing because the victory of the servant is for the one who is, who are the ones who are standing. Even in the most valiant and courageous, they get tired. I know. But my brethren, we are standing. The word of the Lord for us tonight is this. For you, my sister, you are in your home going through difficulty, but your concern is with taking care of the things of the Lord, the inheritance of the Lord. The answer for you and for all the ones who are here and here participating with us, their answer is this battle is no longer yours. God is in control. Oh, but I want an answer today. My brother and sister, there is a tomorrow for you. There is a tomorrow for you. It's not over. Oh, but tomorrow, are we going to have another trial? The other day, are we going to have another trial? Yes. But when we ask for help, and then I go back to the detail that, that I just spoke about. It's not any place, but it is in the presence of the Lord. The people went to the presence of the Lord. We Show, sh have thought, shown willingness to be in the presence of the Lord and here is the place where we are going to find the answer that the Lord has for us so may God bless us with this word each person in their own trial in their own difficulty but God is in control of all things all things but, and uh, we can be sure of one thing we came to the right place which is to be in the presence of the Lord we are going to sing a song with a song Deixa Deus resolver Não, não queiras fazer Pela sua vontade Deus sabe o que faz, conhece demais teus problemas e dor. Deixa Deus resolver, 
É melhor Deus fazer É bem melhor assim Diga agora ao Senhor Esta causa é tua Resolve por mim Deixa Deus resolver Ele age no vento, no sol e na sombra É Deus do silêncio, é Deus de toda hora E todo mal desaparece, o Senhor tem poder Ele é grande, Ele é tudo, Ele é Deus, te consola Deixa Deus resolver Deixa Deus resolver, deixa o Senhor fazer o que bem lhe apraz. Ele escuta você quando diz sem querer, eu não suporto mais. Deixa Deus resolver, os mistérios de Deus não competem a nós. Se não podes fazer, deixa Deus resolver, Ele sabe o que faz. Deixa Deus resolver, Ele age no vento do sol e na sombra. É Deus do silêncio, é Deus de toda hora. Convido o Senhor, Ele vai, vai resolver. Seu olhar simplesmente ordena E todo mal desaparece O Senhor tem poder Ele é grande, Ele é tudo, Ele é Deus Te consola, deixa Deus resolver Deixa Deus resolver Ele acha no vento, no sol e na sombra é Deus do silêncio, é Deus de toda hora Convido o Senhor, Ele vai resolver Ele é grande, Ele é tudo, Ele é Deus Te consola, deixa Deus resolver Deixa Deus Blessed be the name of the Lord. We're going to have a word of glorification to the Lord for this God, this God that we serve, that takes care of us, that has zeal for us, fight for us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise your name. Lord, we glorify you, Lord, because we trust on the Lord. You're God that can do all things. The God that resolve our problems. You're the God that heal our wounds and stops our pain. You're the one who takes care of us. We praise you, Lord, because that in these difficult moments, moments of the end, moments of the time called soon, you have been with us, have helped us every moment. Lord, we praise you because we have not seen the circumstances and the problems of this life, but we, Lord, have followed in your presence towards eternal life. Lord, we glorify because you you spoke to our hearts for the songs that we sang, for the word that was brought. Lord, we praise you because you have helped the people in your presence. Lord, glorify, Lord, because soon Maranatha will be fulfilled. We exalt you, Lord, and glorify you for everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'll hand the word to Pastor Ronildo. My brethren, peace of the Lord. Let's pray, bring this service to a close. I'd like to invite the brethren to close their eyes. Lord God, we praise your name because, in fact, you are a God that resolves all our problems. 
independent on the size or the degree of difficulty. We trust in you, Lord. And Lord, that's what causes us to go back to, into your presence, is to know of the assurance that we have that everything is in your hands and that our hope, Lord, is to receive the victory from the part of the Lord. Lord God, we want to praise your name and ask that you may give us a week of victories in, in your presence, Lord. Send your angels to go ahead of us, breaking the barriers and the difficulties, and that you, Lord, may come to operate health, physical health, and spiritual health. Is a prayer that we say, already thankful in the name of Jesus. Amen. In your name we say, that wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet and tender consolations of the Holy Spirit be proud upon all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Amen, my brethren. I'd like to thank the presence of the brethren from Houston, the brethren from Marieta, and a few brethren from Brazil who are watching us here, and also from, from YouTube. If anybody needs a prayer, we're going to allow you to manifest. And we're going to be praying for the remaining. The brand who wants, you can open the microphone and greet one another. And the ones who want prayer, remain here so we can pray for you. And to all the peace of the Lord. A paz do Senhor, irmãos. Paz do Senhor, irmãos. Paz do Senhor, irmãos. Paz do Senhor, Senhor, Gabi. 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 Senhor, Gabi.